A couple years ago, I remember a party just like this. Um, it was a Halloween party, and I met this girl there. She was, she's beautiful. You know, she's one of those girls that when she walks in the room, everyone stops and stares. Mostly because she, she was not as good looking as I'm telling you guys. She's kind of fucked up. <laughs> she, had, she had a penis. But I didn't know that. Yeah, don't get me wrong. She didn't have a penis at first. I mean, when I first met her. I mean, I guess she did have a penis, but I didn't know. But anyway, I found out because I was I was giving her a hand job one night. Don't give me a Listen, listen. I I was confused. I mean, my whole life I've gave myself hand jobs. That's a simple task. I mean, as a man. But I never gave someone else one, so I was confused on how to do it. You know, and some people got it down. I was fun, and then I was like, fuck this. I'm like, this shit is dick. And in my head, I was like, I'm pissed off. Don't get me wrong. Like. I'm a man, I'm a man, so I understand blue balls are, they suck, so I had to finish, you know. I was so, so pissed, though, doing it, that, you know, I just stared in the eyes the whole time, I was like, you fucking dirty bitch. I was like, you're a fucking slut. I was like, as soon as you do me, I'm out of here. And she was, we've been happy together ever since, I mean, oh. I love parties, guys. <laughs> but to be honest, you know, I've never really, uh, never been good with ladies, I don't, uh, I'm not very confident or attractive, you know, the qualities most people look for. But, I mean, there was this one day I was, I was out and about, and I thought I had a good shot, you know. I met this girl, and we were talking and hitting it off, and I thought I was doing good, but it wasn't. I mean, I didn't find, and I was, I was happy, you know, and she left real quick. She just took off, and, and my friend was with me, and I was like, you should go ask that girl, you know, to see if she likes me. So I think she likes me, you know, and I was confident about it, so, you know, I was like this. But anyway, he comes back and he's laughing, and I'm like, what the fuck, what did I do, you know? And he's just like, well, first off, she didn't like you, she was kind of worried, and I was like, what do you mean? And he's just like, well, she thought you were handicapped, so she, <laughs> she went off to try to find a parent and a helmet to get you on the <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I just, women kind of scare me, you guys, you got boobs and vaginas and faces and all that stuff, you know? And, I meet women, and usually it goes good at first until I sneeze on them or throw up near them. You know, <laughs> you know, something like that usually happens to me. But that's okay because you know I've got cats. You know, cats are just as good as a girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. That's a lie completely. But cats are sweet. You know, I've had a cat for 16 years. I don't know if any of you guys have cats here. I mean, yeah, yeah, cats are amazing. <laughs> Kind of a bitch. I mean, she she thinks she runs the place, and you know sometimes I like to you know to take poops in silence and alone. I mean that's kind of my spot. <laughs> I go in there and, and she'll come in and she'll lay between my legs and get in my pants and try to get in my lap and you know and, and be all adorable and stuff. And it starts to piss off after a while, you know. And I'm a lonely guy, so I I'm just like I'm gonna mess with her, you know. And one day I follow her to the bathroom and she starts taking a shit in the litter box. <laughs> Fights and fucking women that aren't even pregnant start having children. I mean, that's just gonna happen. 
<laughs> Just let me bring out the real instrument again. Let's do that. Uh, I don't know. It's, music has changed a lot, you know. You know, I, in the nineties it was more of something to laugh at. I mean, boy bands. I mean I love boy bands. I wish I could be a boy band. I mean all you have to do is dance. That's it. You don't have to be talented at all. You just gotta know how to dance. And get famous off of it. But I couldn't do it. I tried, but I can't dance. Going white and horrible and everything. <laughs> but I can smell it in here. First off, it smells like the rainforest weed. <laughs> so I'm guessing most of you get high in here, and I like to get high. Smoking weed's fun. It's interesting. But, you know, I always think, you know, what about the first guy that ever got high? Like, he found the plant, you know. He had fire, you know. And he got high one night, you know, and he's sitting there by himself in the woods. And he's all paranoid, and for no reason. You know, trying to hide his dash, he's throwing rocks in the trees. But what did he do, though? You know, like, he got high, he probably got the munchies. You know, he had to hunt for that fucking food. There, he didn't just get it. You know, we could just walk to the fridge and get a sandwich. The first dude that ever got high, he had to find a puddle, you know, drink some nasty mud water. <laughs> and after that, he just upset himself. But I learned a few things about getting high throughout the years. First, you never want to get high while you're hungry. Like, already hungry. That's a bad idea. And also, you never want to get high while you're horny. Or both at the same time. It was a bad thing. You know, sometimes, I mean, I remember one night, I was baked out of my mind, and I was like, you know, there's, you know, charms on, you know. <laughs> you know, and I started jerking off, but then I started jerking off. I like, instantly pie was in my mind the whole time. You know, I, I just started thinking about pie, and like 45 minutes later, I came to, and I was just holding my dick, and I was still thinking about pie. <laughs> I usually just get something that's one-handed, so I can, you know, eat a sandwich and drink it. I mean, it, 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 but most of the time when I'm high, my biggest dilemma is, you know, when I gotta piss or go to the bathroom. I'm like, what do you do in that situation? You know, you just hit the ball and you're stoned and you gotta pee. I mean, the bathroom's like six feet away. So you have to decide right then if you're gonna actually do it. You know, you just wait so long that when you actually get up to go, you just piss your pants. And then you have to decide if you want to change your pants or just got high again. I mean, I usually just get high again. I mean, you know, but but weed is a a delicious, awesome thing that doesn't make any sense why it's illegal. And but you can go out and take 75 prescription drugs and die. Like that, you do that. That happens all the time. You just die daily. And that's completely fine with the world. I mean, I'm okay with it too. I mean, fuck it. I mean, we all, we we have too many of us. I mean, look at you guys. Jesus Christ. The <laughs> <laughs> group I've ever seen is the best thing ever. I mean, <laughs> you guys are the most interesting people I've ever met in my life. I mean, the most diverse people. I mean, I don't even know what half of you guys are tonight. I don't know if you're dressed up or not. Like, I can't. There's no way of telling if you guys are dressed up or just here to, you know, have fun and get drunk and stuff. <laughs> But uh, animals, animals, again, let's go back to that, because I like animals. I like lions and tigers, and, you know, but they're different than us. You know, we can do this. We can sit around together. We can talk and laugh and everything. Animals just go on instinct. You know, they're just in instinct animals. They just eat shit, and they poop, and they eat shit, and, they, you know, they raise children, I guess. I don't know. We raise children. They fucking eat shit up. They eat their own children. Like, you can't do that as a human. You can't eat children. But anyway, if, you know, if I went on instinct, I would be fucked. My whole life would be ruined if I went on instinct for everything. I mean, if I got a boner and I was just like, I gotta use it, you know. Or if I'm hungry, I'm just gonna eat whatever comes by me next. I can't just attack people on the street and eat them. Like, you can't do that. But I was thinking about it, you know, if I was me normal, you know, say someone, say I left my house and I was in an alley for some reason. Why did anybody ever go into alleys? I mean, it, that doesn't make sense to me. But, you know, a guy comes up and he pulls a gun on me. He's like, freeze, motherfucker. I'm like, no, don't do it. Like, no, no. Like, I don't get it. Like, what do you do in a situation like that? But, but me and a human, I would think about it. I'd just be like, here's the 650 I have in my pocket. I guess I'm not written dirty dancing and dancing with Swayze all night. That's not going to happen. But if I was an animal, I'd just attack and get shot in the face and die. But maybe I'd go to heaven and be able to dance with Swayze there, I guess. You know, so that'd be cool. But, I don't know. It's just, I don't like, I would sometimes would rather be an animal, like a cat or a dog or a, sh a chipmunk. I mean, every time you guys see an animal, what's your first instinct? Oh, 
Aw. Oh my god. And you like roll <laughs> with it on the ground and stuff. And you throw it in the air and you catch it. You make sure it's out of it. Like, oh, fuck it. You know, that, you know, don't act like you don't do it. Every picture you put online is some sort of animal on top of another animal. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Like a turtle and a polar bear. They don't need to be together. But you're like, look how cute it is. <laughs> Think about me dressed up as a turtle and him dressed up as a polar bear. And on top of me. You'd be like, oh, fuck
<laughs> I can imagine being in the military having to do push ups all the time. Fuck that. Never, like, never going to do a push up. But my mom, like I said, she passed away when I was, I mean, it was only, I don't know, three or four years ago. But I remember her when I was younger. She was just accident prone. You know, she was one of those people that no matter what she did, she just got hurt. You know, I, I remember one day she came over and brought me a pack of cigarettes when I was younger. And an hour later, I go outside, she's just sitting on the steps. And I'm like, what's wrong, Mom? And she's like, I broke my fucking foot. I'm like, how did you break your foot? And there was one step. You know, she just snapped her leg on one step. You know, or like she'd be walking down the sidewalk, enjoying a beautiful Christmas day, or I don't know why she'd be walking around Christmas day, but a tree would fall and hit her in the face, you know? But she never got injured enough to, like, matter. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong, I, I care. But just not enough to, like, reply, you know? <laughs> ah, she'll be alright. It's just another toe. You know, just another toe. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we got next? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> anyway, I don't know if you guys have ever seen them around town or wherever you guys are from, but like those men that are really muscular. Like, yeah, and they're always ah, screaming. I don't know why they scream all the time. Like, and, but, they, but they never do like normal guy things. Like if you saw me walking down the street with my kids, you know, I'd be pushing a stroller and the other kid would just be fucking, you know, just, you know jogging or whatever. But you see one of those guys walking down the street with their kid and they got the stroller on the shoulder and they're running at full speed down the street. Like, look at my kid! Look at my kid with their muscles! And I'm like, calm down, you know? Like, you don't have to do that. You don't have to scream, yelling at old ladies in their car. But I also saw one day, I saw this big guy and he was walking down the street and he was wearing a tank top. Fucking put some clothes on. A tank top. Who wears tank tops? Mm -hmm. I got a tank top on. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. But, but he was walking down the street, and I've never seen such a big guy turn into such a pussy in like two seconds. He got some in his eye. And it was like a transition phase for him, you know? Like, he never had that much angst in his life before, you know? He's all, and he's trying to fight it, you know? And he's like, there's nothing in it. I can deal with this, you know? And, like, <laughs> and you just see him, and he's like, ah, and he just starts <laughs> jabbing himself in the fucking face. And I'm like, what is he doing, you know? And like, calm down, dude. He's like, no, fuck it, there's something in my eye. He rips his eye out, and eats it, and he's fucking popping back <laughs> out and shit. I don't know why. But there's me, and I'm sitting at a table, drinking a latte, reading a book, and I realize in that moment that this dude who's on the ground, rolling in pain, is still more manly than I am. <laughs> and I just walked away. Like, I couldn't do that. Like, I wanted to make fun of the guy. Like, ah, you fucking pussy, you know? But then I looked at myself, and I was like, this isn't right. Like, I sh I'm 23 years old, and I'm a man. I should not be reading Charles Dickens at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I should be snorting coke and fucking bitches. And <laughs> I should be doing that. But I can't. I, I tried it, and it sucks. I, it, I heard a phrase. I'm not going to tell you who said this to me. They'll know who they are. <coughs> said, smash that ass. Or just put your thumb in her ass. I hear this every day. <laughs> this is somebody I know at work. Every day, just put your thumb in her ass. Just smash that ass. What does that mean? I can't understand it. Like, smash that ass. What does that mean? You guys know? I bet half you in here have smashed that ass. <laughs> You smash that ass. I'd be like, you should help out. Like, there's something wrong with her. You just fucking ruined her whole life. <laughs> Come on, man. Don't do that. Like, I just, I don't know. Like, I'm the kind of guy that, when it comes to women especially, like, I like to be all charming and, oh, look at us. Let's go do all this crazy cool stuff, you know? Let's, let's get on horses and wear white shirts <laughs> together. And, you know, but then there's always, I would do that. I would take a woman, be all dressed up, I have my long hair. And my chest hair flowing, <laughs> white horses that are right down the beach, and, and they'd be like, "Oh, I love you so much," and they'd hold my hand, and then there'd be that dude running down the beach with his children, with his fucking six pack, and they'd be like, "Fuck this," and they get off their horse and go with him. Like that's what would happen. That's always how it happens in my life. Uh, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But I did, you know, I have been in relationships before. I've been in long-term relationships, I guess, you know, whatever that means, and. I learned a few things doing it. I mean, I there was a few things I learned. Like number one, if you're in a long-term relationship, take all your hopes and your dreams, all the stuff you've always wanted to do, and just put it in a box. 
and then put it somewhere that you know it's there, but you're never going to see it again. <laughs> put it there, so you can visualize it being there, but you're not going to ever see it again. Like, oh, I'd love the drapes to be this color. No, you don't. And that's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Oh, she's going to get her way. Second off, you're going to be late to everything. Don't get me wrong, not just because of women. Women do take for fucking ever. Just <laughs> really. <laughs> but guys do it too. I mean, if your girlfriend came to you and said, let's go to the ballet, and you're like, no, you're not going to ever do that. And she keeps pushing it. The day comes, the ballet is about to start. Where's the guy at? He's on the toilet. That's true. Every, one of, every guy just says, I'm taking shit. You know, I've, I've seen guys take three hour shits. I, I've never done a three hour shit. I've never, there, that's not humanly possible. But guys do it all the time. You know, they're reading books and playing games on their fucking iPads and stuff, and their girlfriend's yelling at them and screaming, and then they get off the toilet and she's still not fucking ready. You know, that's just not <laughs> working. But, and number three, you're gonna get sticky. You're really gonna get sticky in a relationship, like throughout it. I mean, men, you know why you're gonna get sticky, ladies. You know that. The guys usually, it's like, they're like hobbies. Women like hobbies. And they like to get you sticky, like arts and crafts. And like, women are the only people that still make macaroni elbow frames when they're not, you know, elementary school. They do that the rest of their lives. They do. You'll have a macaroni framed picture on your fridge forever. You know, it won't even be your kids. Like, they'll just take other people's kids' pictures and put frames on them. And they'll be on your fridge. On my fridge right now, there's two black children. Two black kids. <laughs> I've never even really seen many black people. Hello.
This dog has meat to stay. <laughs> the 25 cents you could dog's life. And it's a cat and a fucking mouse. Who cares about mouse? And they're like, this mouse. Is that bad cheese? <laughs> I'm being completely honest. I give money to all of them. If, if someone walks up and says, uh, there's a charity, it can suit, they could just be like, it's for me. And I'd be like, here, as long as it makes you happy. But then at the same time, I saw a guy here in town the other day, he's holding a sign, I said, I'm hungry. I didn't know what to do. I mean, I'm walking and I've got a tie and a suit on and I'm freaking drinking coffee and I've got money in my pocket and like, I didn't do anything. I just looked at the guy. And and I felt bad for a second. And I realized like he's been there for a while. Like there's some he could have made money somehow within the 14 days he's been sitting at the bench. Like I don't know. I just realized that there's something he could have done. He could have gave hand jobs on the corner where he was already at. Like that could have happened. He could. I, I've made a lot. Of money. I've made a lot. Of money. Dude, hand jobs. You know. I just. I mean, even taking your pants off is like five bucks for for the bad ones.